everyone, Rhea here from Filipino Lipstick and welcome to our ultimate guide on how to live like a king in the beautiful Philippines. In this video, we will take you on a journey through the lush landscapes, vibrant culture, and a luxury lifestyle that the Philippines has to offer. From enjoying stunning beaches to indulging in delicious local cuisine, we will show you how to make the most of your time in this tropical paradise. So sit back, relax, and get ready to live like royalty in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. Let's make your dream of living like a king in the Philippines a reality. Hi, mga langga. What's your name? Uh, I'm Bea. Bea. Teresa. Teresa and... I'm Sam. So I have a question of you guys. So how much money do you think that would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines? In the Philippines or Cebu? Here in the Philippines. I feel like lately, kay Murag, I think millions na jud, or like billions. Like okay. seeing the lifestyle na karon kay, yeah, medyo like dapat na jud kama dato. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Um, I think that uh, to live like a king, kay, you don't really need money, man sad. Like not a lot of money, just maybe enough money. I think what's more important is like the people you have around. Sure. Sure. <laughs> nice answer. Very well said. How about you, Langa? Um, for me, it's the opposite. I don't really care about the people, but um, <laughs> for me personally, if you would like to live a um, uh, comfortable lifestyle here in Cebu, um, maybe six digits every month would be enough. Like comfortable lifestyle, yeah. Like dili na kamag. Like, dili na ka maglisod o find a ways to um, keep up with your lifestyle. Yeah. So, thank you guys for answering my question. Thank, thank you. you. Are you ready to live like a king in the Philippines? Here's your ultimate guide to living the high life in this beautiful country. First things first to live like a king in the Philippines. You'll need to find the perfect luxury accommodation. Whether it's a best friend villa, a private island retreat, or a lavish penthouse in the city, there are plenty of options to choose from. Living like a king in the Philippines is really cool because there are so many beautiful places to stay. The Philippines has over 7,000 islands, so whether you want a beach house, a private island, or a fancy apartment in the city, you get lots of choices. First, think about staying in a beach house right by the sea. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves and seeing the sand come up over the water. These houses are super comfy and have things like private pools, gardens, and big rooms. Places like Boracay and Palawan have this amazing beach house that are right next to the beautiful Philippine beaches. If you want something really private, how about your own island? This private island are super special because you get the whole place to yourself. You can stay in cool bungalows or big fancy houses with everything you could want. You get your own beach, can eat delicious food cooked just for you, and do fun water sports. Now, if you like the city, you can live in a fancy apartment high up in a tall building. These apartments in Manila or Cebu have incredible views of the city. They're really modern and have everything you need like big rooms, special elevators, and sometimes even places for helicopters to land. Living here means you get to enjoy all the fun of the city but also have a quiet, luxurious place to come home to. Lastly, for something really different. Check out overwater bungalows and treehouse villas. Overwater bungalows let you live right on the water, which is awesome for swimming and seeing sea life. Treehouse villas put you up in the trees in the rainforest for a cool adventure. Both these options are really fun and have great things like tasty food and spa treatments. This way, you can enjoy a super comfortable stay while experiencing the beauty of the Philippines. Invest in experiences. Consider experiences like private helicopter tours, diving trips, 
or hiring personal tour guides to explore unique destinations. Investing in fun stuff like private helicopter rides is amazing. Picture this. Cheer up in the sky, flying over cool places like big cities, mountains, or beaches. It's not about seeing things. It's about feeling like a bird and seeing the world in a whole new way. It's a special adventure that you'll remember way more than buying the latest phone or a new pair of shoes. Think about going on a diving trip. It's like visiting a different world under the sea. You get to swim with colorful fish, see beautiful coral reefs, and maybe even spot a big whale. Diving is peaceful and exciting at the same time. Each time you dive, you'll see something new and cool because the ocean is always changing. Hiring a personal tour guide to show you around is also a great idea. They can make your trip special by focusing on what you like. What you learn about old buildings, try tasty food, or see places where locals hang out. A personal guide knows all the best spots. They help you see and learn things you can find in a regular tour or guidebook. Doing these things is also great for learning and growing. Riding in a helicopter, diving, or exploring new places can be a bit scary at first, but they teach you new things and help you see the world differently. Like, Diving teaches you how to use cool gear and lets you explore the ocean. Traveling helps you understand and appreciate how people live in different parts of the world. Lastly, these fun experiences make you happier for longer. Scientists say that doing cool stuff, not just buying things, makes us happier. You get excited before the adventure. Have a blast while you're doing it and then have awesome stories to tell afterward. Plus, you often get to share these experiences with friends or meet new people, making everything even more special. Next, indulge the finest Filipino cuisine. From traditional dishes like adobo and senigang to world-class fine dining restaurants, you'll be spoiled for choice when it comes to delicious food. Filipino food is really exciting and has something for everyone. Let's start with traditional dishes like adobo and senigang. Adobo is yummy stew with chicken or pork and a vinegar sauce. Well, senigang is a sour soup with tamarind, fish or pork, and veggies. These dishes show how Filipinos love to mix different flavors like sweet, sour, and salty, making their food unique and tasty. Adobo and senigang aren't just delicious. They also tell us about the Philippines how its food was influenced by others' country. Lately, Filipino food is getting popular all over the world. This has led to fancy restaurants in places like Manila and Cebu. They take traditional Filipino dishes and give them a modern twist. Imagine a fancy version of lechon or a roasted pig or a beautifully decorated halo-halo dessert these restaurants show how Filipino food can be both traditional and modern. Every part of the Philippines has its own special dishes too. For example, Bicol is known for spe spicy and creamy dishes because they use a lot of coconut milk and chili peppers. The Ilocos region has tasty savory snacks like their version of empanada filled with meat, veggies, and egg. This means you can find new and exciting foods in different parts of the country. What makes eating in the Philippines extra special is how friendly and welcoming everyone. Whether you're eating at someone's home or a fancy restaurant, people will make you feel right at home. This friendliness is a big part of Filipino culture. Eating here isn't just about great food. It's also about feeling connected to the people and their way of life. That's what makes Filipino food more than just a meal. It's a fun and heartwarming experience. Participate in elite clubs and events. Join exclusive clubs for golfing, country clubs, and attend high society events. Joining fancy golf and country clubs and going to high society events is like entering a special work filled with fun and important people. These clubs are more than just places to play golf or relax. 
They are sports where you can meet new friends and find cool opportunities. When you join these clubs, you get to play on amazing golf courses and enjoy other fun things like tennis and swimming. It's also a great place to eat delicious food. At these clubs, you can meet very successful and famous people. This is a chance to make friends with business leaders and others who can help you with your career or other projects. The events at these clubs, like big golf games or fancy dinners, are very special. They let you meet more people who can be important in your life and work. Going to high society events like big charity parties or art shows is also exciting. These events are usually very fancy and have important guests. Being at these events makes you feel very special and keeps you updated on what's new and interesting in art and society. It's also a fun way to learn and be part of important discussions. Being part of this special group means you can do things the most people that get to do. You might get to see art before others, go to special concerts, or even visit private islands. It's not just about having fun. It's about being part of a group that gets to do really cool and exclusive things. But remember, joining these clubs and going to these events can be expensive. You might need to pay a lot of money, and you usually need to be invited by someone who's really a member. There are also certain ways to act and dress in these places to show that you belong. So, it's not just about having enough money. You also need to know how to fit in with this special group. Understand the local culture and community. To truly enjoy like a king, it's important to understand and respect the local culture and communities. Engage with local customs and traditions. Join in on local traditions. Living like a king means getting involved with a local culture. This is more than just watching. It's about joining in, learning to speak like the locals, enjoy their festivals, and taste their food. By doing these things, here's your respects and get a real feel for the place. It's not just about seeing something different. It's about being part of the everyday life there. This makes your time there more special and fun. Be respectful and understanding. To really get the local culture, you need to be careful and respectful. Every place has its own rules and ways of doing things. When you're new, it's important to be open and respectful. This means dressing the right way, saying hello the right way, and acting the right way. Being respectful helps you make friends and stops you from accidentally being rude. People like it when you try to understand their culture. Help out and join in with the community. To live like a king, you should also help out in the community. You can shop at local stores, go to local events, and volunteer to help. Doing this things is good for the community and makes you feel like you belong. It's about being a real part of the community, not just watching from the outside. This also helps you understand what life is like there and how people live and work together. Learn about the place's history. Knowing about the local history is important. Go see historical places, museums, and monuments to learn about the past. Understanding history helps you get why things are the way they are now. It also shows you how the people and their culture have grown over time. Learning history is more than just facts. It's about understanding the stories of the people. Be open to change and learn new things. Living in a new place means always learning and changing. These experiences can challenge what you think and open your mind. Embracing a new culture doesn't mean you lose who you are. It means you add new experiences and ideas to your life. This change helps you grow because it needs you to be flexible, open, and ready to try new things. Living like a king in a different culture is about enjoying the journey of learning and respecting the people and their way of life. So hi, what's your name? I'm Edna Lin. So how much money would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines? What do you think? Um, maybe... 
ten ten million <laughs> ten million <laughs> ten million I think so <laughs> it's very new man oh okay oh okay for new man sila di mo parehan nato ng kwan ba oh di sa mga parehas mao ju no lahi ba yung ilaha kesa to ah siya na lang mo yan lang ko so how about you what's your name I'm Ella so how much money would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines mga twenty twenty million oh okay 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 Twenty million. <laughs> okay, I thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Visiting the Philippines is awesome because you can enjoy fancy resorts, beautiful beaches, and great food. But it's also important to respect the local culture. The Philippines has a cool mix of history and traditions. As a visitor, trying to learn about this and show respect. This means knowing the right way to dress in some places, understanding local customs, and being respectful at historical and cultural spots. It's also great to really connect with the local people. There's so much to see and do outside the fancy or tourist areas. You can explore local markets, join in festivals, and meet friendly locals. This helps you see the real Philippines and support small local businesses too. Remember to take care of the environment while you're having fun. The Philippines has amazing nature, like clear beaches and green forests. Try to keep these places clean by not using things that harm the environment, like plastic bags. Choose places to stay and tourists that care about nature. Understand that not everyone in the Philippines lives a fancy life. Even though you're enjoying luxury, it's good to think about others. You can help by getting involved in local projects, donating to charities, or making sure your money supports local communities. Finally, enjoying luxury in the Philippines is all about balance. It's about having a great time but also helping and respecting the place and its people. This way, your trip is more than just a holiday. It becomes a special experience that is good for both you and the Philippines. Remember, the best part of traveling isn't just the fancy places, but the amazing experiences and friendships you make. Thank you to everyone who joined in today's video. If you enjoy it, please remember to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Hello guys, Ria here and today I'm here at Ayala Mall to do a quick vlog and I will going to ask a question how much money would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines? So let's go. So hi guys, what's your name? Luna. Luna. Hi, and... So I have a question, guys. So what? Uh, how much do you think money would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines? Oh. How much? How much money would it take to live like a king here in the Philippines? Well, ako pay a lot of money. Like specific? Uh, how much do you think? Billions. <laughs> Billions? <laughs> Millions lang or. Millions. Mm -hmm. Like why is it million? For, for you lang in your own. For me, kay enough na ang million kay like mag daghana siya pili mo kay mag king naka. <laughs> daghana <laughs> stable na <laughs> stable. Oh, okay. ko an. Ma ma palit na kilo tatat na kay dili ni mo kaya. Okay, thank you guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you.